Lewis Healthy Habit number 28. Now this one should be something really simple to add. This is taking a daily probiotic. Now this is something that I've been doing for a really long time and my probiotic consumption has actually evolved. It's evolved a lot. So what I used to do when I first really, really cleaned up my diet, you know, I took out fast food, I took out junk food, I started, I, I took out sugar, and I really started paying attention to what was going in my body and how I was feeling as I was getting older. Probiotics were just a natural lean in to all the things that you start learning about your body. Now, as we know, our microbiome is what is basically, is keeps us healthy. And your microbiome is made up of all these things that are beneficial in the form of bacteria, even viruses and different things that make us up it's important that they keep in balance. And when you feed your friendly flora, which is the beneficial bacteria that makes up your microbiome, you're just sending your body this message that it's important to you. So when I first started doing this, I went through a whole bunch of different brands of a, of a capsule probiotic. I went through liquid probiotics. I did drinks like kombucha that you would buy. And every once in a while, I still do those. Um, but now what my routine has evolved to is, is basically two main things. I do uh, fermented veggies and I make my own kefir. And I get kefir grains and then it's making your own fermented veggies is super, super easy. You actually just make a brine, which is a salt water. And there's just a little process you go through. You let your veggies ferment on the counter or in a dark cupboard. And after a certain period of time, then you basically put a regular lid on them and you put them in the refrigerator and then you and then you eat them. And this is how back in the day before there was refrigeration, this is how they used to preserve vegetables uh, that would get you through the winter months when there wasn't fresh veggies from the summer or the, the fall during harvest. So people used to ferment their veggies and not only did it preserve the vegetables, but it gave them all of this beneficial bacteria and healthy probiotics. So this is just the brilliance of human nature and how we evolved to take care of our health. And since then, we've devolved out of using fermented veggies and even making our own, which is literally pennies on the dollar. Because taking a, an expensive probiotic um, is better than not doing anything at all. In fact, what I like to do is actually a combination of both, because there might be a day when I'm just really not in the mood to eat a half a cup or a cup of fermented veggies. And so I'll just take um, I have a probiotic that I take and that's what I take. So adding this into your daily routine can have stunning benefits for your health. And again, it shows your body this big message that it's important to you. And if you're a person who maybe has been on a lot of antibiotics or you just don't have a very good diet, you don't eat a lot of, and you're really trying to turn that stuff around, this is to me one of the very best things that you can add into your diet and it's super easy. So if you are unsure where to start, go into uh, your local health food store and ask someone that works there what brand they recommend. And a lot of times you might get brands that are kept in the refrigerator because those, those probiotics need to stay healthy. Now there are many brands that I've used over the years that you don't, you don't have to keep it in the refrigerator. And again, like I said, my love of probiotics and the way it makes me feel has really evolved to making my own kefir and making my own fermented veggies. So that's a super, super easy, cheap way to get all those beneficial bugs and make sure that your microbiome and your gut flora is super happy. So add this, add this habit and I know that it's gonna totally change your life. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.